In the 1830s in England, agricultural labourers were paid a pittance. They were really struggling. And there was a village of the village of Tollpuddle in Kent. Six of them got together, six of these agricultural labourers, one was a Methodist preacher, they got together and decided that they would form a friendly society. And they would swear an oath that they would not work for less than 10 shillings a week. Their wages had been 10, and they'd been cut down to nine, and then eight, and they were threatening to cut their wages to six shillings a week. Well, you just couldn't, you couldn't feed a family on six shillings a week, even at that stage. So these six blokes decided they were going to stick together and hang out for 10 shillings a week. We would probably know it as a union, hmm? the beginning of the union movement. Um, now, the local landlords thought this was the end of the world. The sky was going to fall in, you know, end of civilization as we know it. They were full of um, doom and gloom. And one of the local landlords called Frampton insisted that these six blokes be rounded up, arrested and charged. So they did that because he was quite a powerful bloke, this Frampton fellow. But they got, before, they got them before a judge and they couldn't think of anything to charge them with. They hadn't actually done anything wrong. And Frampton dreamt up, well, he didn't dream up, but he dug up this very old law that was meant to prevent mutiny in the Navy. And it said you couldn't swear an oath of allegiance to anyone except the Crown. <coughs> yeah? And if you did, it was treason. So they got them on that one. Um, but the judge, obviously, the judge who was sentencing, they found them guilty, of course, and the judge that was sentencing them obviously thought it was a bit dodgy because he said, as part of his sentence, uh, you guys haven't actually done anything wrong, but we're going to sentence you anyway as a warning to others. And he sentenced him to seven, years, trans <laughs> seven years transportation to Australia. Um, well, as you can imagine, the British people weren't very thrilled about this. They thought it was not British justice to be sentenced for something that you hadn't actually done. And there was a huge outcry, there was a huge protest in Britain about these blokes being sent off. And then somebody tweaked that, um, OK, if they were going to use this very obscure law, if they were going to say anyone who swore an oath of allegiance to anyone other than the king was a traitor, then what about all those blokes that were in Masonic lodges? Huh? They all swear an oath of allegiance. What about them? Are they traitors too, including the king? You know, also a mason. Um, so in the end, it was they had to pardon them. I mean, there was just such an outcry, they couldn't do anything else. So in 1836 and in 1837, the blokes returned to England. But it was a huge event in English social history, and this is one of the songs written about it. It's got a fabulous chorus with some wonderful Tom Bridges harmonies. We've done quite a few of his harmonies in songs too. Very great. So please sing this one will be fabulous. Yeah. 